Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Inform Jesse Lingard or Lingardinho to review today. So uh, the card actually has a lot of potential, believe it or not, because his rare gold card in the beginning of the year was actually okay. And the reason being for this is because of his body type to dribbling stats. So with this card on the Hunter Chemistry style, the card actually looks kind of cool, man. So uh, we're going to be taking a look at some of his in-games. He's got the flare trait. Uh, in-games, he's got five foot nine height high high work rates with four star skills and a three star weak foot so at least he has the four star skills okay very very important uh he is a right footed player this is the type of card because of his high high work rates that i mostly see being used either in the cam position or as a secondary striker next to somebody else uh he might actually be able to play on the sides as well so if you want to use him as a left mid or a right mid if he has stamina 87 stamina you can use him in most of the attacking positions right he's got 83 acceleration with 82 sprint speed which is a very good base card stat because when we give him the Hunter Chemistry style, we're boosting it to a 93-92. Shooting in games, he's got 86, 77, 85, 78 at 80 composure, which is not bad because, again, when we give him the hunter chemistry style on the card uh it actually boosts a lot of the shooting stats to very good areas right so he's got 91 positioning 87 for finishing 90 for shot power at 93 for volleys while having some pretty decent dribbling stats because huge because he has the lean body type while being a five foot nine player so hopefully his dribbling actually feels really good in game base card stats for passing is okay it's not necessarily crazy but he does have 82 short passing with 84 curve at 82 vision while having 80 composure so you know if he's under pressure and he needs to pass the ball it'll be okay to pass the ball with him obviously when you get like those high percentage passes it's not necessarily a big deal anyways right so uh pretty cool that he has all of that uh physical stats on the card he's got 87 for stamina while having 78 for aggression too. So, uh, like I said, guys, with the Hunter Chemistry style, for a car that costs, I bought him for 20.5. I actually think I got him for cheaper, and I sniped him, because I don't think a lot of people are actually getting this card. So the fact that I bought him for this price is good, because I'm going to make profit on it. So even when I sniped him, I was like, uh, no one's looking at this card right now. <laughs> but... We're going to be trying him out in the cam position, right? So we'll be using the 3-5-2 aggressive tactics. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put Dembele up top because, as you guys know, I actually really enjoy using the card. Uh, I'm going to switch Jesse off to the cam position over here. And David Beckham will switch with Herrera here. Yeah, we'll switch him with Herrera. This team actually looks kind of cool. I like it a lot. Joe Gomez will put, no, Joe Gomez will put on the side here, and then we'll switch the low off to that side. With Ron Felix off to the left. Perfect. The cam will be on, since he's on uh, 87 stamina, we don't have to necessarily tell him to stay forward, although it could be a nice thing to put. We'll put stay forward for all of the attackers, actually. Uh, hmm. In this team, I don't like Ron Felix as a striker, but we'll just put Daniel Pedence there, because it makes more sense for the way that the team is set up which is uh, sometimes the case with these cards. We'll put Jesse Lingard on stay forward with all the other three attackers too. This will be on get in behind, get in behind. So get in behind, come back in the fence, which will be perfect. So yeah, we'll try him on the cam position. I might rotate him into that striker area as well. Uh, we'll see how he plays in game. You see the space, Lingard? My boy, he does see the space. Four star skills. Let's go. Oh, oh, we still got it. Don't worry. Well, I can tell you guys this much right now. The high, high work rates are incredibly noticeable for him. He definitely makes those aggressive runs into the space whenever he sees it. Look at this guy's runs, bro. This guy actually moves into the spaces really nicely. High, high work rates working. Fantastic with her, with him. And do this little touch here. Space on top. First time strike on your weak foot. <laughs> Three star weak foot and a dream, baby. Oh, look at that assist. Oh, no. Had to get the better angle there with uh, Dembele. Once you approach the angle like that, you have to do an extra ball roll, heel to heel, stuff like that. You know the vibes. The lob pass? Oh, dude, if he didn't get that little deflection right there. Oh, no, the interception. 
I guess the main things with this card, obviously, is the fact that he has a three-star weak foot and his dribbling doesn't feel as responsive as I would like it to feel, for sure. Um, he does do emphasis touches, unfortunately. I do like his attacking AI, though, man. The high-high work rates is working really well for him in that cam position, but it is mostly a position, or it's mostly a card uh, I would use in the cam spot only. I mean, you can use him as a secondary striker, for sure, but it probably wouldn't be um, as ideal, you know? Look at that pass though by Jesse. The host of really controlled possession, but after that, it's been disappointing. I'd like to see them use those wide areas around the Oh, good setup. Oh, the goalie saves that. No shot. Oh, we still got a chance though. Oh, put Dents with the touch there. All right, guys, play some serious FIFA before this guy thinks I'm trash. <laughs> Oh, Jesse Lingard, baby. Jesse doesn't play around, my boy. Look at that positioning. Top class volley. Ronaldinho-esque. Oh, that setup. That setup. Oh, and he's offside. Juan Felix, what are you doing, bro? How are you going to disrespect Jesse Lingard like this? How? Okay, guys. So for the second game, we're going to be using Jesse Lingard with the finisher chemistry style in the camp position this time. The reason being for this is because I want to improve his dribbling as much as possible while giving him the shooting stats while already having some pretty decent base card stats for pace because he's playing in the camp position. Now, it's not ideal to have this type of pace uh, in the striker or left attacking mid, right attacking mid, left mid, right mid, those types of position. But in the cam spot, it's not a terrible thing to have, right? So I want to try him out with that to see if... Um, I can improve the card in those areas. I'm going to go ahead and switch. No, I'm going to keep Juan Felix over here in the striker position for now. Um, I want to see how Lingard plays with the uh, finisher. This guy's rocking a really, really cool League One team. I mess with this a lot. That is really dope. Nicely done. Yeah, his dribbling is way better with the finisher, guys. May I, I, I would personally give him a finisher. You guys know that I like to aim for a better general experience because if he has those high high work rates guys that attacking AI uh, that he has is not going to go away right so he's definitely still going to choose to aggressively move into certain positions so it's not a big deal to have the pace like this if he is playing in the cam spot Ooh, we get the penalty right there let's go Jesse Lingard look at look at this guy look at this guy best penalty taker in the game baby you know what I'm actually going to try here? I'm going to try like a chip. The right side feels wrong, so I'm going to go for the left side here. Okay, so left side was terrible. Oh, Jesse! Oh, body faint. Ball roll touch. Shot cancel. Oh, he still has it! Absolute monster. Absolute monster. This is Ronaldinho in a nutshell right here, boys. Look at this. Oh, top class, bro. Right off the defender. <laughs> What's that thing they call it basketball, man? Off the heezy or whatever? Or they hit it like off the person's head? That's what Jesse Lingard just did right there. Oh, that interception, bro. This guy's Ronaldinho. Boom. See you later. Ball roll touch. Work the passing angle. He makes that aggressive run. Let's go. Scoop. Get that touch. Touch. Finesse. Bro. Bro. Look, we're forcing the rage quit here, guys. You can't mess with Jesse Lingard like this, okay? Finish your chemistry style a little bit improved in the dribbling department with finishing like that and attacking guy like this? Please, bro. This is basically baby moments Ronaldinho. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Well, I get it, bro. I get it, you know. I get it. Like, chill. Like, relax, okay? You know what's crazy is that, like, Jesse is going to destroy this team. He's, he's going to destroy them, bro. He's basically... He's like moments Quaresma, you know, like he's moments Quaresma. Oh, Lingard doesn't mess around, bro. This guy's interceptions, top class. Oh, look at that threaded through ball. Look at that. It was all Jesse right there, boys. Boys, it was all Jesse. I don't know what to tell you guys. This guy, he's just a different breed. He's a different breed, bro. 
Oh, Jesse, why'd you go for the early jump? No. Oh, that would've been so good, too. Yeah, guys, don't give him a hunter, bro. Finisher just makes the most sense. Because, guys, the pace, when you're in the camp position, it's not a big deal, bro. You know? It's like Suarez with an engine when I use him in the camp position in my teams before. Oh, dude, I just wanted to try a strike from there. Just just do it, you know? Just try it out. See what happens. Oh, man, I just needed to get that ball roll touch right there. It was too close to the goalkeeper. Oh, that's tripped of mine. Oh, my. He just got that taco from my honey. So lucky, bro. Jesse, I know you see this, Jesse. First time strike. Oh. We saw nothing, okay, boys? We saw nothing. Oh, look at that pass to Pedence, bro. Look at this guy. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Nice little ball rolls to put his body ahead of the ball. This guy. This guy's. What do you want me to say, guys? What do you want me to say? All right, guys, so final verdict on the uh, informed Jesse Lingard card. Honestly, he's the best player in the game. He's lucky that Quidditch doesn't exist in this game because if Quidditch was here, nobody would touch him. You know, nobody, not a single soul would touch Quidditch's card. But uh, yeah, Jesse Lingard's the best. Okay, with that being said, let's talk about the actual player stats and how he performs in game. So you can't fix his dribbling. You know, if you give him the finisher chemistry style, he still has that like emphasis touch to him you know so whether you give him a finisher or an engine whatever you're not gonna fix that part on the card at all right the finisher chemistry cell still makes the most sense because the main position i see this card being used in is the cam position right so improving his dribbling as much as possible to compensate for that base characteristic of his is definitely going to be very ideal because you even improve the shooting by a lot right so if he does get into the positions to score some opportunities he'll be able to actually put them into the back of the net like you guys saw with some of the finesse shot angles that we got with the card. 83 acceleration with 82 sprint speed is perfectly fine to use in the cam position. Nowhere else, okay? Everywhere else, it's it's really important to have the pace, right? It's important to have the pace in the cam position too, but it's not as big of a deal if that makes any sense, right? So with this card, guys, give him a finisher chemistry style. Uh, he's usable, but obviously that dribbling is really rough with the card. But you can have some fun with it, man. It's a card that's like 22K, you know what I'm saying? Like... Lingardino is in the game, so let's get it. Let's get it, boys. I'll see you guys for the next reviews. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.